Okay. Uh, let's press record. Let's start recording. Uh, this is excellent. All right. Let's drink a little more. I'll, I'll just get my framing ready. Okay, cool. Awesome. Oh, gamers, what's up? Sorry it took so long. Food. The Postmates. <laughs> Postmates took a while. Um, I'm quiet? Oh, no. Wait, can you hear me? Testing, testing. One, two, three. Is this too loud or too quiet? Because it looks good for my end on... Um... Okay, cool. Okay. Maybe I was just back here. Do you think this is going to be loud? Alrighty. Yo, what's going on, you guys? We're going to react super hard tonight. Uh, we're just going to have a really good reaction time. Uh, pardon the pun. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. We're going to react to some really cool videos. And um, I just... Testing, testing. Okay, sorry. I'm looking at a bar, a sound bar. doesn't matter. Okay. Um, let me just get a bit more White Claw on me. Hmm. Be funny meow. Hey, we got a big old Be Funny Now update coming on Monday, November 7th. So stay tuned, gamers. Rewatching re Borat 2 right now? Hell yeah. Um, love that, love that. Okay. Uh, let me turn. I can tur crank the audio up a little bit. Hold on. What if I do stew? All right. Yo, what up, everyone? Yo, what up, everyone? It's your boy, Judge Jax Films. And today, we're going to watch KSI react to offensive family guy moments. All right. How's that sound? Like audibly, how does like not actually the concept, but how does that sound from an audible standpoint? Okay, grand. Okay, cool. Because that's one of the things we're gonna do today. I think we should do. Um, I think we should do um, a few reaction vids tonight. I think uh, I'm. I got one queued up. We're gonna do Family Guy's most offensive jokes part four, as reacted by to by um, KSI, uh, and then. We can go back to um, some really cool TikToks. I think I think that's gonna be uh, yeah. Hey yo, who trying to kiss at the Happy Honda Day sales event? Aim high. Oh, let me get my um. Do I have my buttons here? Yeah. Okay. What if what if I make a funny joke? <laughs> Good. Okay. Cool. 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 Uh, what if I make a bad, offensive joke? Okay. Good. All right. Sweet. All my buttons work. Good. Okay. No, Shazane. Shaz Shazane, we're not done. Excuse me. I wanted to try something different today, which is why I uploaded what I did. And I'll try something a little different tomorrow, which is why I'm recording what I'm about to record. But, uh, you know, I want to... If it ain't broke, I also want to go back to... Uh, so this is Sniper Wolf. Also, guys... Guys, I have wonderful news. Get your clapping hands together. All right. Big news for the channel JJ Jacks Films on, on YouTube. As of yesterday, the channel is officially monetized. Yes. We are well on our way to our excuse me, to our mansion. Just well on our way. Um, it's happening. So uh, you better believe it. So we have to react extra hard and we have to be vigilant and consistent in our reactions. Okay? Uh, so, and that silver play button, we're getting closer and closer. Let me, in fact, let's do a sub check right now. We're getting close to 80 K. We'll probably hit it like to tomorrow, if not very late tonight. Yeah. We're at 78,600 subscribers. Thank you all for subbing to the best channel on YouTube. Judge of Jack's films, um, on our way to hundred K baby. Um, we have some more shorts coming up. Yep. I'm so invested into the shit post of a channel. Um, I'm having shorts made. Uh, and uh, yeah, that'll get the subs up. All right, you guys. It's your boy. Um, let's do this. Okay. Let me record some intros. Oh, let's get a bunch of intros. I think I have... Hold on. Now I have to open a Word document. Because um, I have some openers here. Oh, yeah. Here you go. These are openers. Yo, what up, everyone? It's your boy, Judge Jax Films, and today we're going to watch TikToks that can unstuck your stepsis. Oh, my God. 20 subs. Thank you, Stardrop. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Uh, props to you. All right, hold on. Let me, let me re-record that one. 
Yo, what up, everyone? It's your boy, Jojo Jax Films, and today we're watching TikToks that will unstuck your stepsis. Okay, next up. Yo, what up? Yo, what up, gamers? I should It should be what up, gamers, instead of what up, everyone. Let's do gamers now. We're going to mix it up. Yo, what up, gamer? <laughs> Just sounds so fucking stupid. <laughs> um... Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Jaja Jax Films, and today we're going to watch TikToks that'll burst your appendix. <laughs> Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Jaja Jax Films, and today we're going to watch TikToks that'll put down your dog. And let's do one more. Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Jaja Jax Films, and today we're going to watch TikToks that'll delete your search history. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, any others? Wow, thank you. We we broke the hype train or something. Thank you. New record? Wow. Okay. Um No Eco, it is it, Chief. It is it. I'm standing by tech you know what I'll just for you, I'm gonna re record it. Yo, what up gamers? It's your boy Judge Jax Films, and today we're gonna watch TikToks that'll put down your dog. <laughs> oh my god. Uh uh, let's get some more. <laughs> Damn, you got me. Thank you, Eco. <laughs> more, more, more. What's some other um, TikToks that'll... Uh... Ooh, TikToks your mom wants you to see. All right. Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Jaja Jax Films. And today, we're going to watch TikToks that your mom wants you to see. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Lube your gears. Let's go. Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Jaja Jax Films, and today we're going to watch TikToks that'll lube your gears. Whew, that's pretty good. Boop your snoot. That's so fucking awful. Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Jaja Jax Films, and today we're going to watch TikToks that'll boop your snoot. Fucking kill me. That's awful. Uh... <laughs> I'll make you pee sitting down. <laughs> Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Jaja Jax Films, and today we're going to watch TikToks. <laughs> oh, <I can't. laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> Let's get some more openers. <clears throat> That'll make you pee sitting down. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> Yo, what up, gamers? <laughs> Just thought about the dead dog again. Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Judge Jax Films, and today, oh my god, I'm having trouble. All right, last, we got this. Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Judge Jax Films, and today we're gonna watch video. Tick, fuck, fuck. Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Jaja Jax Films, and today we're going to watch TikToks that'll make you pee sitting down. Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Bring back Gam Gams. All right. <laughs> Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy. Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Jaja Jax Films, and today we're going to watch TikToks that'll bring back Gam Gam. There we go. There we go. Um. All right. Uh, <laughs> All right, one more, one more, one more. Because I just saw a really good one in the chat, and I have to do it now. Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Jaja Jax Films, and today we're going to watch TikToks that'll crinkle your diaper. <sighs> good, good. Okay. Now, but but on to, like, what we actually are doing here today. Um... We're gonna do the fam we're gonna do this family guy one, but there's a here's a I'm gonna tell you guys ahead of time and I'm gonna ruin the joke, but that's just so you can help me out, all right? Hold on. Um oh that's funny. TikToks that'll make you fall down the alt right pipeline. <laughs> I can't I can't because YouTube might actually see that title, but that's really funny. Um no, no, no. What, what, uh, what, what we're gonna do instead is I just did. A, if you didn't see, I did a, um, uh, an opener where like here, here, I'll do it again just for shits and giggles. Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy Jaja Jax Films, and today we're gonna watch KSI react to offensive Family Guy moments. 
and then we cut to this. But here's the joke. Um, I'm never going to play this video um, until the very, very end where I, where I go like, all right, let's start. And then it's just going to cut off after a second. Um, in fact, let me get the space bar ready. There we go. Okay. Just so that when I press this. Okay. So the joke is we're never going to play any of this video. But I want this to be a 10-minute video to upload, right? So I have to ramble about nothing for 10 minutes. That's my goal for this video. That might go up tomorrow. Because no way I'm going to fucking play Family Guy on my just monetized channel. Absolutely not. Excuse me. Um, uh, so, uh, all right. I, this is the filibuster segment, okay? So I'm just going to filibuster for 10 minutes. Talk about everything I know about KSI, which is not a lot. And then just my entire history with Family Guy. If you guys, like, I'll occasionally um, look in the chat for, like, uh, inspiration. If you guys want to keep the party going, <laughs> give me bullet points to talk about. But I'm going to try to make this all unedited, one cut, one take kind of thing. I might cheat and have to cut it some segments but i timed this earlier today i only got to like seven minutes of rambling non-stop about nothing and uh, i don't want to upload a seven minute video mm -mm. your boy needs mid-roll ads all right this sucker's got to be 10 minutes up you know what i'm saying gamers all right <clears throat> so so i'm just gonna like start with the detailed like well okay pick here's the thing guys here's the thing chat all right just Keep up with me in what I'm saying, okay? Know that I'm doing it for the video tomorrow. But I'm going to talk – eventually, I'm going to talk about everything I know about Family Guy. And once I start doing that, feel free to give me some motherfucking bullet points. Um, and I'll – when I do this, when you see me do that, that's me looking at the chat, okay? So if my eye line hits that, that's me looking at the chat. And I'll try to, like, stall. I'll be like, oh, man, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. another thing about Family Guy, I'll tell you what. This is me stalling looking at your chat, okay? So – um, let's give it a shot. Okay, so imagine I just did the opening and we cut into here. <clears throat> now, for those of you who uh, live under a rock uh, in a cave and, uh, no, I don't like that. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to do my KSI intro. Now, for those of you who live in a cave, uh, born under a wa- Fuck! All right. Now, unless you live in a cave and live under a rock and were born yesterday, uh, you know who KSI is. KSI is, of course, internationally known, hyper-famous YouTuber who does many things. He, uh, well, he reacts. Mm, duh. Uh, he reacts to fun footage, and uh, he also he he uh, uh, bought he uh, bought he bought he fu he boxes he boxes he fights you know. Uh, and he does a lot of other things, I think. But what he's doing in this video is he is reacting to offensive family guy moments. And so this video is a bit of a double whammy, a bit of a, uh, a double your pleasure, double your fun kind of thing. Because you're not just watching the video uh, for the family guy clips, which in and of itself would be a wondrous video in its own right. We're also watching KSI react to it. So we get to see if KSI guffaws at these offensive jokes, if he cringes. At these offensive jokes or if he's you know purely uh neutral you know whether lawful or chaotic or you know t uh, take your pick amongst that scale uh, if you know you know uh but uh that's what we're witnessing here today it's a bit of a two-for-one deal uh and i'm super excited to see how this pans out because family guy has a long-winded uh long storied history that uh, i would love to talk about just very briefly because uh, I remember watching Family Guy years and years and years ago, back when I was in college, which was a lifetime ago, right? But I watched Family Guy so long ago that I remember uh, when it was canceled and renewed, uh, not once, but twice. Yes, that's right. It was canceled and renewed uh, two times. And uh, this was back in the day where uh, I loved the first three seasons of Family Guy oh so much that I owned them on boxed DVD sets. And, uh, yeah, I mean, hey, remember DVDs? Remember Blu-rays? No, you probably do. They're not that archaic. And, of course, honestly, in this um, in these uncertain times of the streaming wars, right, uh, it's more important now more than ever to own your media, own physical copies of your media. What with, um, you know, the, 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 the travesties with the HBO Max and the, the Discovery acquisition. 
you know, you, you never know if your show's going to get a next season or if your show's just going to disappear off the face of the earth without a trace. And it's just terrible. Uh, so, like, you know, may, mayhaps DVDs and Blu-rays will come back. Although, if they do, just make sure you get the PS5 uh, with the uh, optical disc drive. <laughs> you know, don't get the don't get the don't get the PS5 uh, quote unquote slim for lack of a better term. Otherwise, you know, you're just going to be uh, <laughs> up, you know, what's creek without a paddle. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah. So, physical media do be coming back. But yeah, back to Family Guy. Uh, I used to watch Family Guy religiously it would appropriate since it was you know airing on every sundays that was my church my religion you know 8 p.m on fox or whenever it aired i would be watching my family guy i'd watch stewie uh say the funny things and uh i had i had a good time uh now it's been a, it's been more than a new york minute <laughs> since i've last watched um a full episode a family guy start to finish in fact uh i couldn't tell you the last time i did that um but you know i do see family guy in clips on uh in compilations on well, YouTube, you know, uh, and that's how I keep up with the current memes and such. Right now, there's a there's a there's a lowest screen that's a super memey right now being used in TikTok sound bites and such. If you know, you know. But uh, I I don't watch full episodes so much anymore, and I don't know if there's a reason for that. I don't want to say I grew out of Family Guy, uh, so to speak, but I I will say just the whole medium of 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 sitcoms and comedies. It's it's very hard to uh, to to keep that engaging, you know. Sign me up for the one-hour drama. You know what I'm saying? Uh, or, or even the half-hour drama. I'm all about White Lotus. Uh, either season, really. Uh, and uh, many, you know, Better Call Saw. All those types of shows. They still make sense. Family Guys, I don't know. It's trickier to... Uh, do people have the patience to sit down, watch a full 22-minute episode of Family Guy with commercial breaks when the story, uh, you know, pardon my opinion, doesn't matter so much? You watch Family Guy for the jokes and the ha-has, but guess what? This is what YouTube is for. I hate to say it, but people just re-upload funny clips. You know, uh, best of Quagmire, uh, part three or four. You know, it's like a twenty-minute compilation of just all the best raunchiest uh, Quagmire jokes, right? So, so the the format of the animated sitcom as we know it, network sitcom. You know, I'm not talking about Netflix sitcoms and such, but the the uh, uh, network um, basic. Like basic, uh, not basic cable, but just network television sitcoms. It's just getting harder and harder to justify, right? Sitting, sitting down and watching a whole episode, uh, you know, front to back, start to finish. But with the the medium of YouTube, the brilliance of being able to break them down into these compilations. Now that makes a lot more sense, and that's what we're gonna do today. We're not watching a full episode of Family Guy. No, no, no. Um, we are watching KSI react to uh, part four. It seems of a multi-part, uh, uh, multi-episode series of their most offensive jokes. And that's the other thing about Family Guy. Uh, if you know anything about Family Guy, you know it's all about the edge, right? The edgy humor, the offensive jokes. And that's what's really set Family Guy apart from other such sitcoms, even from The Simpsons. You know, yes, The Simpsons was a network uh, television pioneer of uh, uh, adult humor, animated humor and such. But I, I will say Family Guy penned the um, the cutaway gag, and I should be careful with my terminology here. They didn't invent the cutaway gag, uh, you know, because when the Simpsons, the Simpsons is a uh, you know, ten years uh, Family Guy senior. You know, it's been around for ten years more than Family Guy has. But the Simpsons had, if not cutaway gags, they had flashbacks, right? Loads of flashbacks. Like honestly, like you know, Marge would be like, "Remember Homer when you blah blah blah," and then you'd hear the harp music, doo -doo 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 -doo, and we'd see the flashback, right? And so that's been around. I'm not saying Family Guy invented the flashback. And then they didn't even invent the cutaway gag, but they they really trademarked it, <clears throat> excuse me, and made it their own, right? They really did. And another thing with the cutaway gag is it's less about a flashback, right? And more about an alternate universe. Because they'll say like, oh, Peter, remember the time when Barack Obama was on Family Feud? And then they'll cut to Barack Obama on Family Feud, you know, uh, show me uh, democracy. <laughs> and so, and it's, so it's not a flashback per se, but more of like a you know an ultra a peek into an alternate universe, a parallel universe, if you will, uh, where that canonically took place. But the other thing about Family Guy that makes it hyper interesting is its edge, right? Those cutaway gags tend to be offensive, you know, uh, edgy, right? And that's something I want to just touch upon today before we dive into this uh, uh, reaction of a reaction is the is offensive humor. And w where do we draw the line here? And that's why I'm fascinated by this. I'm fascinated to see how KSI will react to these 
offensive jokes, right? Like, is it, will there be some awkwardness, some hesitancy? Or will he lean in? You know, will he lean in and uh, truly be animated, in his, pardon the pun, in his reactions, right? And that all depends on, uh, you know, if there's like a little uh, meter or a spectrum of, uh, you know, offensiveness in these jokes. And that's the other thing about like, do you do offensive jokes for the sake of being offensive? You know, uh, is edgy humor edgy for the sake of being edgy? And I think good humor is not. Good humor has a point to uh, the edge. Usually, usually uh, it's deeply rooted in satire. You know, the edge is is crucial for the joke uh, to, to work. It, it's not uh, to the joke's detriment, but rather um, uh, it works in its favor. And I have a theory that everyone has a line that they will not cross. Like, let's be real. Let's be real. We all want to think that we all have good senses of humor, right? You know, like everyone wants to think like, oh, I have a great sense of humor. You know, hey, you can tell me anything. I, I think everything's funny. I love, you know, I love dark humor. I love uh, edge. And we all want to think that to some degree. But I, I do think, I, I do believe, even the, even the people that sing the praises of edgy comedy, I think everyone has a line. Everyone has a, they have something that they keep sacred, some belief, uh, some principle, an event, something that they hold sacred and they hold dear. And you can't joke about that. It's different for everyone, right? You, you, I, I just want you, you watching at home, I want you to think like, you know, what's one thing that no comedian should ever make fun of for you, right? We all have that. And I think the, the good comedians, you know, Seth MacFarlane, et cetera, et cetera, they know how to take these, these, these sacred taboo untouchables and, you know, just swing a home run and make not just an offensive joke with it, right? But use it structurally with meaning, with purpose, with satire. And that's, that's why I think Family Guy has been around for uh, 20 years, two plus decades, because they know how to do offensive humor. They know how to keep that edge that a lot of uh, sitcoms, animated or otherwise, have since lost ever since it premiered, what, in 1999? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, but there's a point to it. There's a point to the offensiveness most of the time. I, you know, I, I, I won't say that every joke in Family Guy is perfect, you know, but that's the beauty of comedy. You have to try. You have to test the boundaries to see where the boundaries are, where the line falls, you know, to know not to cross it. And then sometimes cross it anyway, right? And that's what we're going to watch today. We're going to see how KSI reacts to these boundaries, reacts to these offensive jokes, you know, that are presented in front of us. And I'm really excited to see where this goes. All right, gamers, let's begin. Okay, and that's where the video will cut. Uh, how long was that? I actually was not really able to look at the chat, um, but, uh, <laughs> uh, 13 minutes. Let's fucking go. Let's go. <laughs> That's going up tomorrow. Cause that'll be very easy to edit. <laughs> Show me potato salad. Oh my God. Ugh. I tried so hard to not pause. That's good enough. For, I'm not doing to take two of that. That's as, that's as good as that one's getting. Okay. Oh, man. So that'll be called um, reacting uh, or yeah, it'll be like reacting with KSI to offensive family guy jokes or something like that. Some very cool title like that. And the thumbnail will be, you know what the thumbnail is going to be. Um, maybe KSI on the other on the other side. You know, I'll Photoshop the background out of him behind him. And, you know, we'll be facing each other. Both doing that. And Peter Griffin doing something in the middle. And that's going up tomorrow, baby. Only on J.J. Jack's films. Um, so, uh, yeah. Okay. So that was just the, that was the appetizer. That was a warm up. Now we got to do the, the main course. So let me, let's pull up everyone's favorite YouTube channel. Um, and there was a video in particular that I wanted to react to because it seemed safe. And I think we could have fun with it. 
things are okay. Okay. Made. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> um, before I continue, do you guys have any cool um? Oh wait, hold on. I need to reposition my um my frame here. I think I need to be on the other side because I had to move myself in the KSI thing. So give me one second. Streamlabs likes to be very slow. Maybe it's my computer. It's literally I'm trying to dra I'm trying to drag a window. There we go. My God. There we go. I'm gotta f I gotta flip it because I can't like I'm looking at the monitor. It doesn't look natural, so we have to flip it. Boop. There we go. Boop. Okay, so camera one. Wait for it. Good. And then camera two. Nice delay and button presses. All right, that's fine. Um, but before we continue, um, guy, do you guys have any cool um, alternate openings? You know, what up, gamers? It's your boy Judge Jacks from. And today we're we're watching TikToks that'll blank your blank or whatever. Not as, it doesn't have to be that format, but. Um, Oh, I like that. TikToks that, uh, <laughs> let me try that. I don't know if I'll use it. Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Judge Jack. Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Judge Jack's Films. And today, we're watching TikToks that'll, uh, uh, they're gonna, uh, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever use that, but it's good to have in the bank, you know? Better to have it than to not have it. Um, uh, let's see. Drown your goldfish. That's pretty good. Cuck your husband. <laughs> Literally say TikToks that'll blank your bank. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll do Tick Your Talk. Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Judge Jax Films. And today, we're going to watch TikToks that'll blank your blank. And then Tick Your Talk. Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Judge Jax Films. And today, we're going to watch TikToks that'll tick your talk. Um, cool. All righty. Oh, undivorce your parents. Let's do that. The trifecta. Because we've got separate your parents, bring them together. Now let's just undivorce. Is that what you said? Undivorce? Yeah. Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Judge Jax Films. And today, we're going to watch TikTok... <clears throat> Yo, what up, gamers? It's your boy, Judge Jax Films. And today, we're going to watch TikToks that'll undivorce your parents. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, all right, I think that's good for now. I think we have plenty because we recorded a whole, a whole mess more. All righty. Excuse me. All righty. Can we do this all in one take? I don't know. Maybe. But all right, we're gonna watch. Uh, some, we're gonna watch some really cool TikToks, you guys. And um, oh wait, how does the audio sound in comparison to like? Hold on, let me just let me just look at something real quick. Give me a second. Sorry, gamers. I apologize in advance. How we do snow effects in oh. movies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Come like on, a, the, a hose. You just coat the tree. Okay, the desktop audio is being a little Please, funky. It's like oh, there you go. White soap that they spray. Yeah, that works. Okay, okay, we're good. Sorry, just checking audio stuff. Not trying to peek ahead. Hey, how? Okay, all right, all right, we're good. We're good. Oop. Here we go, gamers. All righty. <clears throat> Wish me luck. Here we go. Let me just make sure. Okay. How we do snow effects. How we do snow effects in movies and cinema and films. I do love good special effects here. You know, you can't green screen everything. Some of these have to be practical. Now, this comes from TikToker uh, Tens and Laws, only on TikTok. Thank you for your submission. We're going to check out... Uh, how to add snow. Maybe, ooh, mayhaps, you know what? This might be how Hallmark um, and Lifetime and all those other uh, TV channels, how they make, uh, um, uh, you know, Los a LA uh, look like uh, PA, you know, Pennsylvania, East Coast. Maybe this is how they Christmasify and winterify um, their settings. Uh, but let's let's see. It looks like we're, um, we're applying some sort of... Um, sticky white substance here to these uh to these evergreen trees and movies it's like a hose. 
it's amazing it is like a hose it's very hose like and i wonder um how they are able to keep it unstuck because i have to you'd have to imagine let's go back a few frames you have to imagine that this the substance is is, is pretty is, is thick you know because it's it's actually coagulating um in on the trees it's very interesting how it's how the hose can keep it um semi-liquid uh let's see let's see where else this goes because look at the look at the floor look at the look at the ground please divert your attention to the ground here uh that looks very snow like from a distance you know especially if it's in the background of a scene of the two you know attractive leads having a uh, having a you know conversation and you see snow in the background if it looks like that i'm fooled as a spectator i'm believing what i'm seeing i'm like oh boy this must have been you know filmed in uh you know winter of uh new jersey uh when in reality it was probably on a back lot sound stage in sunny los angeles a hose. You just coat the white sheets for base layer wait wait white she like i'm this i'm perplexed forgive me viewers and gamers Trees. white sheets for base layer are we talking about like the actual ground here oh i see oh a literal i'm so forgive me again you know uh i there's an actual um Oh, you can't see the mouse, but there's an actual layer, a sheet um, that I guess the snow builds upon. So you lay out the sheet and it doesn't look like much, you know, every, even the least eagle eyed uh, of us viewers can probably tell that like, oh, it just looks like a paper sheet. You know, you're not fooling anyone, but I'll bet it makes for a solid foundation upon which the fake snow falls. It's like goopy white soap. That's, That's what I was saying. It's, it's very goopy. How does it come out of the, uh, of the hose though? So you know, especially if it solidifies to a degree, right? That's what perplexes me. I'm curious about the chemistry behind it. I'm curious, but I'm not knowledgeable enough to, even if you told me the chemistry, it'd probably go in one ear and out the other. You know, gamers, I I, I didn't fail chemistry, um, but mm, wasn't my strong suit. More of a math guy, but I digress. But they spray everywhere. Look at that. It looks like soap. Um, and uh, you can literally just... I don't know if peel is the right word, but you can just wick there. You can wick it off. This is phenomenal. So mayhaps it's not nearly as that's, you know what? My questions have been answered. It's not nearly as solid as it looks from a distance. If it's soap like in its texture and consistency, then it's very easy for it to, to travel and traverse in a hose tube. Ah, see, there you go. Question answered. And would you look at that? It looks just like snow. It does. Uh, it's the magic. It's the magic of cinema. Honestly, you know, just that, that, that holy weird magic. It don't don't mind me. Um, but uh, it really makes you think. Okay, but I would hate to be the one to clean that up, though. Well, mayhaps you don't have to. Because uh, how do you clean it up? If it's soap-like in its texture, mayhaps all you need is a water hose. Maybe just swap out the hose, right? You get the you get the you unattach the, the the snow hose and then reattach the the water hose. And if you just wash everything down, I'm sure it comes off real nice and uh, easy. But that's just a theory. Tell me you have to hose the fake snow. A game theory. It'd be nice if we got a little rainstorm after shooting. Look at that. Rinse this rinse the snow. I gamers, what did I say? Right? I'm no I'm no cinephile, but I did call this one, so I deserve uh, I believe some applause and uh, just some I don't know, some recognition of my um eagle eyed observations. Wash away the soapy snow. Gonna have some squeaky clean trees after that. That's fair. That's a good point, you know, but I wonder if there are any water restrictions, right? I mean, here in here in sunny Los Angeles, it's always drought season, you know? It's always drought season. And I feel like there's always just so many restrictions, water restrictions. You got to be careful about, you know, plants being watered, lawns being watered. There's water being watered, you know? I'm no pool owner, but I'm sure there are restrictions there as well. Anyways, let's watch another TikTok. Ever wondered how they changed arenas from hockey? I'll read. Ever wonder how they change arenas? from hockey to basketball. Now, I'm no sports nerd, so I don't think I'll I'll plainly state no. I've never wondered this. But I'm sure the process, the time lapse is from the few seconds here, give us a few more seconds. Yeah, this is a time lapse. Uh mm, ooh, I do love a time lapse. Uh so this is going to be very entertaining to see. I I wish I do wish there was some tilt shift <clears throat> cinematography. Uh for those who don't know, Google tilt shift, it is a delight. Uh, a true cinematographer's delight. It makes people and cars and buildings look like toys. And it's purely just because of the perspective and a very narrow, um, shallow focus that works in strips. Uh, I would give this TikTok uh, an A++ if it had that tilt shift photography. But um, shame on you, Tim from Toronto. 
you didn't apply that. So I'm going to get, um, you're skating by, pardon the pun, uh, with a B plus. But let's see how they change arenas from hockey uh, to basketball. To basketball, we got a ton of people handling. It looks like, uh, pardon me, it looks like Lego, right? Like they're sliding in Lego pieces. Everything fits, you know? It's like poetry, it rhymes. Uh, forgive me, but no, it, 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 it's, it's like a locking mechanism or de-locking mechanism. It's quite fascinating. Uh, like almost magnetic strips or strips of Velcro even. Some kind of strips. Uh, the tiles. Oh, hockey season is over. Time for basketball court. Interesting. Oh, pardon me, I'm just going back a few frames. Uh, did you guys notice the, uh, the, the Christmas tree up yonder or the holiday tree on the, uh, on the Jumbotron? So I'm wondering, uh, so it must be winter time, right? So people are already cold. I've been to a hockey game. I've been to a couple of hockey games uh, in my youth and it was chilly. I, it was chilly. I needed the, uh, I needed the full uh, jersey um, to keep me warm and, <clears throat> excuse me, insulated. Uh, but I wonder, I, I feel like basketball arenas, <clears throat> pardon me, excuse me, aren't that cold. Court. <laughs> worker ants i had no idea yeah from this perspective they do look like worker ants you know what i'm saying it's the it's the it's the height of the camera and i really it's, again that tilt shift photography really would have made this tiktok um not an a plus an s tier tiktok um but no but yeah the uh, the ants metaphor is noted and appreciated and reciprocated idea that they just lay individual tiles over the hockey arena yeah and I, it makes you wonder, like, what the hockey arena itself, the foundation of this arena is made of that, uh, you know, uh, allows this type of cover to uh, uh, take place upon it, especially if it's sturdy enough to let Zam, Zam, oh, Zamboni, Zambinis, the, you know, the big things with the, 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 the wheel, the steamroll wheel, right? I don't know what you call those gamers, but if it's strong enough, if these rinks are strong enough to, to force sand, uh, withstand even those vehicles, then mm, they gotta be pretty tough. To make Zamboni. Basketball court. Okay, you really do learn something new every day. Ain't that the case? And that's why TikTok is so gosh darn popular. Pardon the French. It's because people are willing to share um, their wild and crazy professions, right? So like you wouldn't get to see that time lapse uh, unless you were uh, working on the inside, you know what I'm saying, gamers? And, and that's why TikTok is just uh, running away as the uh, number one social media platform uh, in the universe. Let's watch another TikTok, speaking of. This is how they shot the Avatar. Almost everything in this movie. I'm sorry. Are we about to figure out how they shot Avatar? For 12 years, that movie's origins uh, have eluded me. And uh, gamers, I'm actually uh, proud to admit that I did see the re-release of Avatar 1 in 3D in theaters just a few weeks ago. And gamers, it holds up. Say what you will. Say what you will about the derivative storyline. Sure, uh, it certainly isn't, you know, the most unique plot. But gosh darn it, it holds up from a technical standpoint. I would love to see how they made those aliens blue and how they made them run and how they made, made Pandora and those floating mountains and floating waterfalls. Mr. Cameron, do tell, spill your secrets, uh, and spill the tea, sis. Let's see how they avatar avatar. We was CGI. What do you mean they're not actually blue? Think fast. Phenomenal, Sigourney Weaver wearing a, 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 a head-mounted cam, working opposite Sam Worthington. Uh, who is absolutely worthy of this role. I am. Uh, I wonder if we're worthy to see Sam Worthington in four more Avatar films because he was such a delight in the first one. Um, I am just, uh, I'm, I'm shaking my giant blue tail in excitement uh, and, and some trepidation uh, at these next four films. So uh, we have full mocap suits. I did, I, I did, I did, I did know that they wore mocap suits. That's, and you know what? That, they've been doing that before Avatar and since Avatar. That's not new. Even the head-mounted cameras, I feel like I've seen before. But look at the foliage surrounding the plants. They actually have physical plants um, betwixt and surrounding these wonderful legendary actors. I wonder uh, if they're just reference points to show where they are in the 3D space. Let's find out. Motor control's looking good. 
Okay, so we have the green dots on the face. So the green dots, they must correspond with the computer. That's what the camera's for. So the camera has to uh, pinpoint with um, uh, super high accuracy. They have to pinpoint all of the, uh, the, the muscles in the face. And that's how they translate in real time. In fact, I'm willing to bet that they could see some of these effects in real time as it happened on, this, on some kind of monitor. Uh, mayhaps uh, lower polygon count, you know, than you'd see in the final cinema, but some kind of preview, I assume, because I've seen that now. It, in fact, it's even accessible to us gamers and streamers and, and YouTubers and influencers. We have that technology to kind of see in real time something if we're doing a, a 3D effect. Um, but yes, the, the green dots, I thought they used stickers. I didn't know they actually used actual green dots. Makes you think. Oh, he has to actually take a bite. That's an interesting point, too. Yeah, he, he, they're not... Sam is not miming a bite of fruit. Now, granted, they couldn't get the... It's a shame they couldn't get the real thing, you know, the real blue fruit. I guess it doesn't exist, uh, at least not in this universe. Uh, but it's very interesting that they had him eat an actual... Not just fruit, a juicy fruit. A juicy fruit. So, I guess, mimic the, uh, the, the sounds, the textures... Uh, the juice spilling on the on the lips to see like how how the juice would spill on the on the blue lips down to his chinny chin chin it's fascinating let's see where how else the avatar <laughs> that's a good mango man they even changed the fruit yeah i i noticed that too says the sniper wolf they changed the fruit uh, they, but just the fact that they even gave him a fruit you know actors mime actors act uh but uh i, I guess i don't know I'm just, I'm, I'm shocked that they gave him anything. Normally, you see an actor with a cup and a mug, right? And they say, that mug is 100% of the time empty. They ain't drinking nothing, right? You know, you get picked up by the boom. Or, yeah, something would go ha haywire or, you know, God forbid, a liquid would spill. And spill on the soundstage, you know, cut. Everything would be ruined. So, I uh, forgive my shock and my surprise um, and my general confusion, really. How he's eating an actual fruit whilst wearing uh, what looks to be very expensive headgear, camera gear, um, face muscle tracking gear. And look how veiny the avatar looks in the, uh, in the top screen there. Not quite, a, well, quite veinier um, than Sam Worthington. I don't know what to make of that. I just wanted to point out the vein. And by the way, gamers, are you as excited as I am for Avatar 2, The, the Way of Water? I'm, I've heard it's over three hours long, literally. Yeah, that's a real fact. Uh, sign me up. Uh, two tickets to paradise, please. <laughs> I don't find it as funny as Sister Sniper Wolf finds it. I'm just more fascinated by it, right? Maybe, And maybe that's the joke in itself. Maybe the joke is in itself that the actor is actually eating a fruit, not miming it, uh, but truly eating. Um, and it's a one-to-one -one ratio to what the, the blue alien avatar is doing. So you know what? That is funny. I take it back. That's worth laughing at. I wonder how many bites out of this mango he took to get this shot right. I you know what? I, I, I'll stop you right there and, uh, and tell you. I, I think several dozen. Several dozen. There are so many infamous stories in Holly Weird, as I like to call it, um, where actors have to eat or take a bite out of the same. I'll give you an example. In fact, um, in The Sopranos, who played Tony Soprano, that actor, James Gandolfini, I was stalling for time. I couldn't think of his actual name. My goodness. <laughs> uh, no, no, James Gandolfini. Um, there's a famous scene in The Sopranos, or a famous behind the scenes story in The Sopranos, where it's a dinner scene or a dining scene, and he's eating something. He kept eating the entire meal, take after take, even when the director or whatever coordinator was behind the scenes that they told him, like, hey, James, you don't have to eat the whole gosh darn thing. But Mr. Gandolfini was such a pro, such a legend, that he did. He ate the whole thing. He didn't mime it. You're supposed to mime it or take a bite out of it, but he didn't do that. And that's why he will always be a star. I cannot believe this movie is 90% editing. It just blows my mind. Well, how, well how, how else do you think they... How? Well, help me out here. How else do you think that happened, though? How else do you think they made the movie? 90% of the movie is the, you know, the blue, nine-feet-tall people... In a in the world that doesn't believe, or in the world that doesn't exist, it exists only in make believe. Pardon me, I was, I was marrying two two thoughts there. Uh, well, anyways, that's that's the magic of Hollywood. Uh, let's find out what else we have. What other TikToks we have to uh, to uh, to uh, react to? Overgrown bush. Mm. Oh my gosh, um, bush trimming is uh, talk about r slash satisfying and r slash r slash satisfying gifts. 
I could react to and watch these all day. I don't need, I don't need a, uh, you know, I don't need a massage appointment or, you know, I don't even need a, 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 a what do you call a spa treatment? I don't need a spa day. Just put me in front of a giant monitor of nothing but hedge trimming gifts and videos. And, uh, I'll feel very well rested. <laughs> all right. Uh, but let's go back to the TikTok. Take one of these bad boys, give it a little haircut. Wait, you telling me it's that easy? I can just take one of these. Now, wait a minute. I don't think it's nearly as easy as it looks. There's just a sniper wolf. Remember, these are all trained professionals. We are merely spectators to these athletes of their crafts and sports. All right. Uh, these are the experts that rule the world with their, with their skills, whether it be um, ice rink arena converting or multi-billion dollar Hollywood film editing making. Uh, and, and so, and the world of hedge trimming, I don't think is uh, too different from either of, excuse me, those fields at all. I don't, because I think there's an artistry in all of the crafts I mentioned, and there's an artistry. This person is so gifted in what they do. They make it look easy, and that is where it's at. Things are just give, give it a little haircut, looking like a brand new shrub. Oh, is that is that all we get? I would have liked to have marveled a bit more at the at the hedge trimming, because it looked it looked very spherical, super satisfying. It looked like a dome. It was wondrous. Anyways, what have we here? That ain't food. That ain't dope. That's how they make Crocs. It's That's how they make Crocs. I thought we were looking uh, a little uh, taking a peek behind the scenes at how they make uh, yoga mats. You know what I'm saying, gamers? But no, it is not yoga mats. It is Croc shoes, and uh, I am flummoxed how that gets turned into a croc shoe. Let's let's see let's let's see where this goes. Uh color me intrigued gamers, all right? Let's see where this goes. Start out with like a big Okay, so yeah, so you cut you cut you trim it off. That's why I thought it was going to be a yoga mat, right? Cuz come on, let's call a spade a spade. That clearly looks like the that foamy material that a yoga mat would uh, come out of. Green blanket. But then somehow, okay, this this is where I'm completely flummoxed. How are these are these molds? Do we just press this material into these molds and then out pops a, a, a croc shoe? Fascinating. Then put it through a mold. Play-Doh shoes for real. Uh, honestly, it's it, as moldable as Play-Doh. Exquisite. This is also how some Yeezys are made. Y'all selling a one dollar. Well, probably. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> <Woo. laughs> uh, -oh. <laughs> uh, probably, probably, mm, probably not so much anymore. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 if you know, you know. Hey, hey, we're just having fun, gamers. You know. Um, but leave your comments below if you, if, if you, if you got, if you, um, if you believe in Crocs. Flip flop for over three hundred dollars. It's because we have somebody hand. Oh my gosh! And they're even their hand, their hand, their hand trimming, and they're hand cutting the imperfections to make the Crocs up to Croc standards not to be confused with croc the game i'm i'll bet a lot of you gamers out there are probably thinking you, you hear croc and your ears perk up no 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 we're not talking about the croc game we're talking about uh the croc shoes <laughs> and trimmed edges oh, okay oh there isn't those fancy curved those curved scissors too you know what i'm saying gamers with the curved blades we don't have any of those in our home we just have the boring straight kinds you know womp womp worth it take my money i don't know if i pay 300 dollars for crocs though let's Let's be real. I I you know, I, I don't have a, I don't have Mr. Beast money lying around. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not sure I've ever spent three hundred dollars on uh, on uh, on shoes ever. Maybe my dress shoes for my wedding day, <laughs> bazinga. Uh, but uh, you know, for going around, if I would go around town, I don't know if I'm gonna wear three hundred dollars shoes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, let me know in the comments below what you would spend on a pair of Croc shoes. TikTok. First off, I don't know what this is, but the sound alone is oh so satisfying. That is uh, music to mine ears. <laughs> and this is from TikToker Craft Witch. Uh, and uh, let's let's see if your uh, if your talents are also uh, witch like. Oh, is that? Is this, okay, it's got to be some kind of food. Um, I, I was thinking like maybe it was like it, I don't it's I don't think it's ma matcha balls or anything like the the the, the, the t matcha tea. I don't think it's that. Because the balls are so hard. I don't think it's that. Maybe they're gumballs. Mayhaps they're gumballs. But what are we, what liquid are we pouring into here? That's where I'm flummoxed. Bubble gum, y'all. I'm making some bubble gum cereal. Bubble gum cereal? Now, what in the world? That would be a terrible thing to feed your kids. You know what I'm saying? Gamers wouldn't be able to swallow too much. You know, hardly a cereal. No? Blue milk? 
Oh, blue milk all the Star Wars? Like that alien uh, that Luke milked in that movie? That would be, you know, I, I've always been interested in what blue milk um, tastes and smells like, right? Ever since the first Star Wars movie came out. I'm not talking episode one. I'm talking episode four, but before they even called it episode four, back in the day when it was just simply called Star Wars, right? Before all those pesky Roman numerals and, and, and subtitles popped up, um, all people were talking about was that blue milk. Uh, made famous in the first Star Wars movie. And then, of course, made re-famous again in episode uh, 8. P pardon me. Whew, almost made a terrible um, Star Wars faux pas there. No, episode 8. Uh, when when Luke, uh, you know, if you've seen the, if you know, you know, he made that uh, funny little face when he's milking the, milking the alien on that island. By the way, I've been to that island. That island actually exists. Uh, it's off the coast of Ireland. And you can, uh, to this day, you, you can visit it. Um, there's a pub there. You can actually, uh, drink a pint of Guinness from the exact same spout that Mark Hamill did when, uh, when he visited and, uh, and filmed that scene. So it's a, it's a whole, it's a fun thing. It's a good little tourist trap, but, um, you know, you gotta have, you gotta have decent legs. You gotta be able to climb, huh? Cause it gets windy up there. Maybe a casualty or two has happened. Anyways, let's talk about this blue milk. Oh, all the color from the bubble gum has dissolved. What is this though? What are we looking at? What are we? Why? What, you, you, is this? Is this? Is this how we dye gumballs? They already looked colorful. No, no, be dyeing the liquid, right? I, don't, I'm flummoxed, gamers. I don't know what we're about to see here. Mayhaps I should just let it, uh, let it, uh, I'll let it play out. Okay, so we're draining. We're right. I believe we're draining the the blue milk, for lack of a better term. Okay, it's coming out chunky. It doesn't look appetizing. I may have, maybe it's not food. Maybe I was wrong to assume it was food, but I don't know what I'm looking at then. What what purpose does the congealing do? And then drain it. Oh, that's kind of gross. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that, right? I agree. This is a cyber wolf. This is not the most pleasant thing um, I've ever laid my, uh, you know, peeping orbs on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know what where this is going. It's a mystery. It's like a choose your own adventure. I don't know which page to turn to. Okay. I don't need the sauce. Add some more milk. I okay. We're I, are we? We're adding more ingredients or more of the same ingredients? I don't know where this is going. Um, I am a Sherlock Holmes without a magnifying glass. I'm going in blind. Stir it around. Oh, I know what we're making. We're making ice cream. That's an ice cream maker. Are you? Sh oh, is that an ice cream maker? See, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. I I have not spent a lot of time around ice cream makers. I don't think I've ever spent any time. Or an ice cream, because honestly, this looks this looks fluffier than ice cream. This looks it almost looks inedible. Uh, not to say it looks gross, but it just looks like uh, well, it looks like that foam material that we saw a few TikToks ago, or so, uh, where, where the Crocs come from. It doesn't look like ice cream, but I don't know. Mayhaps this TikTok will uh, show this being eaten. Oh, that looks delicious. I well, I don't know if it looks delicious. It looks uh, it looks it looks a bit like uh, like paint. I don't know. Hold on. There's there there are a few frames in here. I'm gonna have to backtrack. Forgive me, gamers. It. I don't know. I don't know if it delicious is the first word that comes to mind. That looks very paint like. I don't know. Uh, I. You know what? I'll. Hey. I'll let you taste test. You know. You tell me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right. Let's see where the where this goes though. I cannot tell you how much I love bubblegum ice cream. Oh, and now we're actually inserting. Okay. See, I me thinks. Mm, me thinks this is sniper wolf peaked ahead here once again all right because before those now we know that these things these colorful things these orbs are gum gumballs before they even appeared on camera so the sniper wolf was saying i love bubblegum ice cream yeah there was no bubblegum to be seen uh so uh, i don't know i think we have a mm, cheater cheater pumpkin eater on our hands <laughs> that's but that's fine hey there are no rules we're having fun we're watching TikToks and we're learning um, just so much about the universe in which we live. Put some bubble gum in it. But do you want to have ice cream though with bubble gum in it? Is that really something you want, gamers? Because guess what? You're not going to be able to swallow every single bite. And you have to do that thing. I've had, you know, as a child, many lifetimes ago, it seems, uh, I, would, uh, I, would, I would partake in bubble gum ice cream. Sure. You know, who wouldn't? On a hot summer's day, even on a cool summer's day, although we're running out of those. I don't mean to get on my soapbox, but when when you when you eat the bubble gum pieces in the ice cream, right? So your mouth kind of like switches around. You, you you try to swallow the 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 you try to swallow the ice cream, right? And somehow do a little 
tongue gymnastics to keep the gum out of your throat, right? Unless you choke and die, lol. Uh, but then you, then you love the bubble gum. And first off, it loses its flavor very quickly. Like this this type of, well, I can't see now, but this type of bubble gum, uh, speaking from experience, it loses its flavor oh so quickly. It's not it's not the best bubble gum quality. It's not. Uh, but yeah, the, at least the ice cream is good. And it looks very, at, from from a pure aesthetic standpoint, uh, mm, it's a vibe. <laughs> Me likey. My eyes are happy when I look at that. Uh, lovely colors uh, and palettes um, and uh, just complimentary duos playing with each other. It's a, it's a lovely sight. Every frame of painting here in this TikTok. Uh, now, putting it in my mouth, would I want to do that? Mm, that's another story. Yeah. And we label it bubblegum. Uh, bubblegum ice cream for being... Pardon me, excuse me. A bit more specific. I had no idea that's how they make bubblegum ice cream. I thought you just put like some flavor syrup. No, step one, make a gumball soup. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, who knew? Like the the color is uh, such a such a such a such a such a, such a key component there. Because bubblegum ice cream does have a very specific flavor, does it not? It doesn't taste like vanilla. Um, it it tastes. I don't know. It just has. A, I don't even taste. Think it tastes like bubblegum. It has some very uh, memorable. Um, taste, right? It does. It's just it, it. So, so now we know how it's made. Um, I would have liked to have seen how those gumballs were made, though. That's one step we kind of skipped. You know what I'm saying, gamers? Delicious, but not so nutritious. Yeah, that's very true. Especially if you uh, swallow that bubble gum. You know, <laughs> you know, you don't want to do that. That's uh, you know, that's a one way street there. Y'all ever wondered how they put the hair on dolls? It's like a sewing machine that just like. Oh, gamers! I hate to say it. I've seen this exact. Um, I've seen this exact video on, uh, lay Reddit. Uh, Hey, shout out to lay Reddit army. You know, Hey, thanks for the gold kind stranger. <laughs> uh, this, <laughs> uh, no, um, I've seen this video before. Um, it doesn't take away, um, my fascination with it. Doesn't take away from, uh, just the raw power this video holds. It's still, it's still just a phenomenal piece of work. It's <laughs> Sorry, the chat got me with me. <laughs> so, someone in the chat wrote me when they read it. <laughs> oh, fuck. I have to edit now. Fuck. Oh, my God. Jesus. All right. What, what the fuck was I saying? Um, okay. It doesn't take away from the, just the raw power of this video, you know. It, it's just it, what a sight to see the hair shooting out of the doll's scalp, just like a real person's, you know. Just albeit much faster. Sews it into their skull. Yeah, honestly, and and, and sewing is just one of the many many talents I don't possess. <laughs> uh, honestly, you could fill a planet with all the talents I don't have. But the science behind this, the 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 the, the physics behind it, I will never get. It's fat. In fact, I think even I, I showed this to uh, my wife and, uh, and, and she was all like, I don't get it. And I told her, I told my wife, I don't get it. And so we're just a couple of, couple of nobodies that just don't get it. You know what I'm saying? And, and gamers, let us know in the comments below if you get it. Do you get the science of sewing, the physics behind it, where the hair is shooting out of, you know, cause it's just, it's a little above my pay grade, you know? Uh, but uh, I, I'm all ears and all eyes, uh, to, 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 to read your textual, um, simplifications and explanations. Oh, that was kind of satisfying. Also, watch your finger. I know, right? Like that's, jeez. So, so sniper wolf, you and I um are uh you know birds of the same feather. The, it 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 seems very dangerous. And look, you can you can actually see the that 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 prickly needle there, right in that frame. Uh, yeah. Uh, er, mm, uh, er, I'm thinking no thanks. You know what I'm saying? I'll let someone else do that. And this person's not even wearing those fancy little thumb thumb guards that you'd see in Monopoly. Um, you know, it shows shows how little I the thimbles shows how little I know uh, in the world of sewing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if that were me, I, I wouldn't be wearing th uh, thimbles. I'd be wearing a, a thimble gloves. I'd be wearing a, a chain 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 link armor. You know what I'm saying? That that medieval knights uh, would would have worn. You know, Lord of the Lord of the Rings or whatever. You know, I, I, ain't, I ain't taking any chances uh, if my fingers have to get that close to a needle that punctures something at such an insane rate that I can't even physically replicate it with my fingy. No, thank you. <laughs> um, pass. <laughs>
Are you get your thumb a little too close? You gonna have a lot of hair and blood coming out of it. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't want to say it, but uh, you beat me to the punch there, says the sniper wolf. You know, this could this could turn into a gore fest very quickly if you're not careful. So again, um, I'll take the 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 the, the, the chain mail, the chain link mail, uh, uh, gauntlets. Yeah, hey, give me. You know, give me some uh, Thanos gauntlets. You know what I'm saying? Give me some infin Infinity gauntlets, uh, just so I can manipulate uh, time, space, and uh, needles surrounding me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we kid. This does not sit right with me. It's not Why is this not? Oh, sorry, wrong button. Why is this not sit right? Oh, are we kind of? Are we faking? That's we are faking. We're faking a brick pattern using the gullibility. Of our senses this is phenomenal gamers look at that we're, we're using some some fake stone material and we are very rudimentarily um, replicating the pattern of stone and brick being placed meticulously but it's not at all what's happening here it's all an illusion of the optical sort not even real brick right Thank you, says the sniper wolf. We are equally angry. Maybe not angry, uh, but, but I don't know. It's just I, it's it's like learning learning that magic's not real for the first time. You know, I the magician just took me behind the the curtain and showed me how how he pulled a rabbit out of the hat. You think you want to know until you know, and then it's like oh, the magic's gone. So now now I know bricks aren't real. Why? Well, we can just pay this guy to carve funny lines into the wall. And they're, yeah, yeah, exactly. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't, I don't know um, how long this person has been uh, doing this craft, right? I'm certainly not about to call them out on it. But uh, me thinks it's a bit slapdash and a bit chaotic, a bit hazardly, hazardly drawn and, and carved out. A gamers, give me that at least. Because, I mean, come on. If I paid a bricklayer... Um, you know, to, to lay a foundation uh, and to create the walls for my, my, my home. And I, I walked out to this. Mm, I think me, me thinks I'd be wanting my money back because look how slapdash this looks. Chaos. Chaos. Hey, hey, uh, dictionary, show me uh, the definition of uh, chaos through a picture. Oh, there it is. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but you know, we kid, we have fun here. Just to make it look fancy. If it, I don't know, fancy. I, mm, I don't know if I'd call that fancy. You know, that slapdash. I, I sound like a broken record, uh, but uh, mm, slapdash. <laughs> you guys aren't ready for this. This is how they make the mochi donuts. I have a confession, gamers. Not only have I never had a mochi donut. I've never even heard of one. So I'm not even sure what what to to in, uh, visualize here. First, you start with this glorious lump of dough. I would I would call I I think the scientific term is a glorp of dough. You know, it's a, if the, you know how there's like a murder of crows and a school of fish. Uh, mm, that's a glorp of dough. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, you know, hey, leave, leave, uh, leave your leave your comments below in the comment section. Uh, let me know uh, what you call that thing. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm calling it a glorp. <laughs> that's that's G L O R P a do. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? She thick. She dummy thick. I might risk it all for this dough. And then it just. Uh oh. No, I don't think I've ever had these before. Um, I'm more of a I'm more of a classic donut boy. You know, call me boring. You know, call me basic. But I do like a big old donut, especially a, a, a Boston cream. You know, it's technically not really a donut because there's no there's no hole in the Boston cream. But, ah, man, in my youth, in my childhood days, I would pester my parents petulantly for a, uh, for a, 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 a Boston cream donut. I just, I, what can I say, gamers? I like the cream filling, you know? Uh, but let's see what these little bad boys turn out to be looking like. It's like pops out the molds. Just straight into the oil. And then lo and behold, the donuts. The shapes are very cool. I will say that. The shapes, a uh, lot of sides. Uh, that's uh, more than 10. You know, if you count if you count the lines, you know, even if you boil this down to like a basic PlayStation 1 polygon 3D model, uh, mm, that's more than a decahedron. You know what I'm saying, gamers? That's a lot more than 10 sides. Gets dipped into the icing. Is there is there is there a, is there a filling in these? I wonder. 
Because I don't know. Oh, that is so satisfying. These are it umi is. flavored mochi donuts, which are absolutely And you know, it's so nice. She's playing it twice. I do like that. A little, hey, that's what we call replay value in the biz, you know. Uh, but we're seeing it made again. And they don't look nearly as purple uh, once they're uh, all deep fried and, uh, and uh, mash produced. I wish, if there's a way... Uh, gamers, if there's a way to preserve that beautiful purple coloring, uh, you let me know, all right? And uh, contact your local senators. Uh, and let's uh, let's keep them purple, because they look great purple. Delicious. No slime bamboozling here. Gotta smack the donuts when they're that thick. Okay, well, I don't know if there's a, you know, I don't think there's any reason to make this video uh, needlessly PG-13. Uh, but, you know, it's a, it's a fun visual, to be sure. Hey, let's uh, let's react to another TikTok. Y'all got an old door? Is he painting it to look like wood? Okay, this guy- Oh my goodness gracious. Are we living in the Matrix? What's real and what's not? Is anything real? Is any- You know, this is why um, he thinks I'm starting to shift into a nihilism here. Because nothing we do or say or create matters. Because it's all fake. You know, it's just phenomenal. This door- uh, this door, which, gosh, this door looks like it has seen better days, you know, this door looks positively post-apocalyptic, uh, but this, this, uh, mm, this legend is giving it, uh, a, a gilded appearance, you know, a, a very, a, a lovely wooden sheen, it's phenomenal, and you think like, oh, yes, it's made from only the most expensive, you know, oaken materials, no! Paintbrush. Kind of it looks. It's like Photoshop. This is. This person might as well be clone stamping a prettier door onto an uglier, older door, and that's. I am mystified. Honestly, that brick thing earlier that threw me off. You know that threw me for quite a loop, gamers. But this, this. I'm wondering, was my grandma ever real? You know what I'm saying? Hey, we kid. We're just kidding. You know, Gam Gam was awesome. Mine right now. How do you take an old door and then just paint it to look like a brand new wooden door? I don't know either, Sister Sniper Wolf, but here we are seeing it before our very eyes. Um, and you know, there, there's a saying, there's a saying, right, where um, science was once believed to be magic, or ma science is, shoot, what's that saying? Magic, science is basically magic. If we, if we took our technologies that we have today, that we possess today, and travel back in time to uh, the 1600s or so, we would be uh, probably uh, burned and drowned as witches, right? Uh, because they're like, oh, how, what is this? What is this magical device uh, with glowing lights and flashy pictures? Uh, we, would be, we would be deemed uh, witches. We'd be tried at Salem and, uh, you know, t punished and taken care of, right? Uh, but here we are. This looks like science from our future. You know, it looks like someone just dropped in from the year 3000 and showed us how to door paint. It's just crazy. You think you've seen some things. You think you know a lot. And then here I am being taken, taken to school. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Dang, took the words right out of my mouth. It's very cool. Glass cracked for an aesthetic look. Cra Glass cracked for an aesthetic. Dude, this is, first off, those are some hot bars. I like to hear Eminem or any other, your favorite, insert favorite rapper here, spit some bars like that. Glass crack for aesthetic look. It doesn't rhyme, but it has a cool rhythm to it. Almost iambic pentameter. But this is fantastic and phenomenal. Um, that we're actually ruining the, 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 the structure, the integrity, the structural integrity of these of this glass side paneling, a protective paneling, so that you don't, you know, whoop, slip uh, and fall and, uh, and break a bone or two. But it's cracked. <laughs> Wait a second, you just broke it. You broke the glass. Personally, I like how it looked before. I agree. What was it was fine. Hey, you know what they say if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Well, look look at that. They broke it and then they think they fixed it. Uh, mm, me thinks there's a paradox in there. Gamers, let me know in the comments below if you think it was fixed before it was even broke. <laughs> so you just give it a little nudge and then the entire thing cracks? I don't know. All right. Hey, let's watch another TikTok. All right, how they really make chairs. Now, this is phenomenal because, you know, the the boring old version of me thinks like, what, you take a, a plank right here and a plank right here and you give it four little legs like that and that's your chair, right? Well, looks like we're about to find out how chairs are really birthed. <laughs> All right, what it says, one second, a chair. How they really make chairs. 
Oh, I will wait until the end. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> you don't have to tell me once. I was going to wait till the end regardless. <laughs> All right, get back to the video. It's a balloon, not a chair. Oh. Just when you think you have this world figured out, life throws a curveball in your face. This is just incredible. It's molded in, re in, in not even real time, more like fast forward time. My goodness, that was so fast. You see how fast that impression was created. <gasps> what? Oh, uh, y'all got me with this one. I just wanna know how chairs are made. You telling me balloons and chairs are like cousins? They just like get pressed together into a chair. And then what? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I'm cutting that out. I, there's no way I'm including that in the video. That's awful. Oh my God. Hold on. Mm. How, hey, how long have we been doing this? Like almost an hour? Oh my God, I'm full. <laughs> I, just, I just saw I'm four minutes into this video. I'm four minutes into this video. I thought I was almost done. I'm not even halfway done with this nine minute video. Fuck. Fuck. I keep pause. I keep, I somehow I'm talking even more than usual. Oh my God. Can I rest now? Tony Stark. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus Christ. Sorry, I'm reading the chat now. I'm just like, I'm kind of, oh man. I Let's at least finish the chair one. Damn it. Man, every video I upload now will be like three TikToks because they just talk the whole fucking time. I mean, like that's the joke, but like, oh my God. All right. Let's finish the chair one. What, you trim off the excess? No wonder they're so uncomfy. Okay, we finished the chair one. I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't have anything else to add. Oh my god, yeah, one TikTok per vid. Honestly, like, that was so long. I think I'm gonna, yeah, let's let's cut there. Oh, actually, yeah, let me go back here. Let me let's record an outro or a few outros. I've never done an outro. I've never done an outro for this channel before. Um, um, yeah, I just need to figure out an outro. Hu <laughs> I'll say something like Hupty Dupty. It's, it's something I said before once in one of these stupid videos. Like not Humpty Dumpty, but just Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty, those TikToks really tickled me in the funny. <clears throat> Let me think. Humpty Dumpty, those tick. Humpty Dumpty, I. Humpty Dumpty gamers, those TikToks really made my eyes. Hmm. Humpty Dumpty gamers, I could watch these all day, but unfortunately. Uh. Humpty Dumpty gamers, I could watch these all day, all day. That doesn't mean you can't, wait. Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty gamers, I could watch these all day. And you can now. Uh, and then I guess I end screen. Fr do I freeze frame? Like, what are we doing here visually? Humpty Dumpty gamers, I could watch these all day. And you can too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do that. All right. Yeah, let's just stare. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll stare. Humpty, Humpty Dumpty gamers, I could watch these all day, and you can too. <laughs> Fuck. I gotta do it more. Hold on. Oh, wait, what if I don't say anything? Wait, what if the outro is me just... 
What if I don't say Humpty Dumpty? What if I just, the outro is just staring. <laughs> I'm sweaty and staring. <laughs> That's so much better. Okay, ready? Go. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, hold on. I have to turn off the chat. All right, not turn off, but I need to hide the chat for me. Uh, oh no, fuck it, we'll leave it on. All right, here we go. Ready, and 20 seconds of this. I'm gonna count to 20 in my head. And go. I just keep thinking about how loud the breathing's gonna be. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, and twenty seconds, and go. Okay, let's stop there. Oh my god. <laughs> that will be my new outro for every video uh, starting tomorrow. I'll put that outro at the end of my Family Guy Offensive Moments video. I'm so excited. All right, guys, thank you so much. This was um, really, these helped me film these when I streamed them. These help me so fucking much. Um, let's do this. I just filmed enough for like four videos. Let's go. Um, all righty. I'll see you soon. All righty. Um, should we raid Shadow Legends someone? Let me see if we can raid someone. Uh, God damn, that was fun. All right, I can't think of anyone to raid. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.